Hushi. We finally got Dark Revival. But what in the meantime could we do with the Ink Demon? How about we put him in Dark Deception? Yeah, sure, what the fuck not. <laughs> If there is one video game performance that people may know me from, it's probably the time that I voiced Bandy the Ink Demon in Ink Deception. I mean, according to the views of this video and this one screenshot, I guess so. The game had a weak start in its first weeks, but it grew over time when Darko and Fusion Z Gamer started playing it, which meant they got to hear my sexy voice like this. The game has also the honor of being the first project that I've been in that has released without an itch or getting cancelled or the creator had existential crisis and depression. I still remember the day when I auditioned as if it was yesterday. I saw the casting call, then I saw the role and the audition lines and I went for it. I put on a demonic voice and recorded and then after weeks of waiting and competition all the other auditions i got contacted and i got the role nah, i'm kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding i got instacasted wouldn't it be nice to live together so i put on a monster voice and record the audition lines like this you cannot escape mortal come back now i'm not with you. And I think the same day the creator contacted me and said that he wanted a re-audition from me with a bit more or less snarliness. So yeah, that's how I got the role. And the same day we got in touch with each other, he sent me the lines and I recorded them all in one go same day because I thought, that's ah, never gonna happen. Really? A dark deception bandy fan game? Really? But in the end we followed each other on Twitter. And in the meantime, I saw all these cool screenshots and I was like, yo, what the hell? But I stayed a bit skeptic because it's me, the VA gods, they hate me. I never get lucky with anything. It's probably going to get canceled at the very last minute. But he tweeted that it was canceled on April Fool's. So yeah, it was an April Fool joke. So yeah, even though I got almost a heart attack. And eventually we got a release date in June. And I was like... Holy shit, I need to check my lines! So, in the end, I did two retakes of this line. I know that you are somewhere new! And this line. So there you are! And then the game was released. And many people got to hear this. Come back now! I'm not done with you! <laughs> and overall, I really think that this game is a masterpiece. But it is far from being perfect. And your point would be? A clunky translation, a lack of voice direction and limited dialogue, and the goofiest looking Benny since his Bella design can leave a bad taste behind for the hardcore Bendy fans. But the team at Indie Game Studio did an amazing job with the amazing visuals. Um, it's just like Dark Deception. But look, they changed it to where it's literally Bendy. That's so cool. A new Bendy mechanic. What the heck? Where did you come from? And it teleports closer to you! And a final twist. <laughs> and at this part, I'm also gonna say... Number one, there isn't gonna be a chapter two. And number two, if there are gonna be future chapters, it will probably take five or ten years to complete the whole game. Sorry. Now, with the problems, you're probably thinking, what do you mean, clunky translation? Well then, let's take a look at the first line ever in this game. Welcome, my friend. You want to free all of your friends and colleagues, don't you? Who the fuck starts a conversation like that? I just spawned in! A key low point of the game is definitely the lack of voice direction. Now, I say the voice direction and not the voice acting. In my POV, I think we did a solid job. My script was sent over in Discord. And the only direction I got were in little notes in brackets. I am not exaggerating, here's proof. The scripts were also Google Translated. And the developer said we were allowed to make some corrections if we bumped on anything. I did a correction like that, with this line. Playing hide and seek? I will find you. If it's one thing that I regret not doing for the game, 
was recording some grunts, laughs and growls. It wouldn't be the first time that I scrolled through comments of a playthrough of the game and saw comments like Oh my god, it's so annoying, we beat that line like three times already, uh Oh I'm sorry, we were just following orders, okay? Do you even know how hard voice acting is? We risk our throats, we weren't even paid for this! But yeah, some growls or some laughs would have been nice. A pain scream if the player got a stun orb, that would really fit. A few weeks or a month later though, development on the game would be stopped. There were thoughts to pick it up again after Darko and Fusion Z gamers started playing it, but eventually the plug was pulled. Forever. I understand why though. Everything would have to be made from scratch again. New visuals, new lighting, new models, everything. Even new crew members. And nowadays everyone is asking for cash these days. And yeah, that's how the story ends for Ink Deception. It stayed at one chapter. Which yeah, is a bummer. But in the end, I think it's fine with just one chapter. The game is pretty challenging. Especially for Darko. But it's stupid that we will never see the Doctor again. Yeah, he was meant as an OC for chapter 2. I was planning an original voice video for him, but I left it on the workroom floor. But even though I rushed the recordings, I still had fun. But the main thing that I didn't like about the experience is that the voice actor of Jessica Cloud got a recommendation and I didn't. Because I don't have the power of a fan base. <laughs> I mean it, you think I'm joking? She had like 10 recommendations after one week she joined the CCC. No worries, no worries, uh -huh, I'm just kidding. Or am I? But in the end, the best thing is that people are still playing the game to this day. Mostly by small channels. Ink Deception made history as one of the few Bandy fan games that actually succeeded. And I really never thought that Instacasting got me that big of a role. So Maxim, Bell Bells, everyone on the team, thank you. Okay, so one final thing. Because I thought that the game was still in development, my brain decided to write out a Flumpty's Gem Ink Deception parody. I wrote it down out in November last year during my final horrible year of school. I was considering it to bring it to life eventually, but like, have you ever heard the cover of the song? The last cover of the song I stumped on was all autotune. Also, sorry that it took so long to make this because I was PC-less for like almost a week. Checkups and all. Oh yeah, and if you guys actually want me to make that parody of Ink Deception of Flumpty's Jam, you know, yeah, maybe like comment for it, maybe I'll, maybe I'll think about it. Also for Maxim, Delbel, Delbel Z, if you made it this far, just want to know if you are offended by my humor, it's, it's not my intention, it's just how my humor works and all, so yeah, sorry if I by any chance offended you, it was just, I was trying to be funny. This afterward is way too long. So uh, yeah, uh, like, subscribe, and uh, see you next time.